Hello, kindergarten friends, Mrs. Ward here. I hope you are doing well. I'm here today to talk to you about what you're gonna be working on during writing time today. So today during writing, you're gonna think about all the different people, places, and things that you are thankful for. Because Thanksgiving is quickly approaching and that is a holiday when we reflect and we think about all the things that we are thankful for. So today, you're gonna to be creating a turkey and on each feather, you're gonna share a person, a place, or a thing that you're thankful for. So we're gonna have four feathers on our turkey, so we're gonna think of four people, places, or things that you are thankful for. Of course, we have more than four that we are, things that we're thankful for, but we're just gonna share four on our turkey feathers. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna brainstorm or think of the different people, places, or things that you are thankful for. And you can do all people that you're thankful for, you can do some people, some places, some things. This is your turkey, so you can share what you are thankful for on each feather. All right, now you got a piece of paper that has the turkey body and four feathers on it. So after you brainstorm or think about what you're thankful for, you're gonna color in the turkey and the feathers on this paper. All right, and the reason is, is if you get out of the lines a little bit, that's okay because we're gonna cut it out. So you're gonna color in, what we'll think about what color a turkey is, usually they're brown, color in their beak and their wattle, usually those are orange or yellow. I mean, sorry, their beak and their feet are usually orange or yellow and the wattle is usually red. And then for the turkey feathers, usually turkey feathers are orange or yellow, red, brown, you can choose, all right? Uh, you can do all one color, you can do a pattern, you can decide how you want your turkey to be. As you're coloring though, leave this white box uncolored, leave it white, because we're gonna write on there what we're thankful for. So we need a clean white space for that, all right? Then after you color, you're gonna cut out the turkey's body and the four feathers. Then you're gonna put your turkey together. So before you write on each feather, glue your turkey together. So what you're gonna have is a colored in and cut out turkey body and then four feathers. It's easier to assemble or glue your turkey before you write on each feather. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your glue stick, put a little glue right here on the pointy part of the feather and then glue it on the back of the turkey's body where you would like it, okay? So I did two on each side. Again, put a little bit of glue on the pointy part of the turkey feather, and then you're just gonna glue it behind the turkey's body. And you're gonna do that for all four of the feathers. Then once your turkey is put together, then you're gonna write the different items or different things that you're thankful for, okay? And as you do that, you're gonna use your pounding hand. So you're gonna pound and tap and try to write as many sounds as you hear. So maybe you're thankful for um, your mom or your brother or your dad. Maybe you're thankful for your house or your, for food, for your clothes, for your toys, for your bed, whatever you think of, that's what you're gonna write on your feathers. So on my turkey, I wrote, I'm thankful for books, Willard, my house and my family. And then once I wrote on my feathers, then it's time for you to glue your turkey onto the orange paper. If you don't have the orange paper, no worries. But instead of holding your paper up and down vertically, hold your paper across or horizontally. I don't know if you can see the difference. It kind of fits better on horizontally. So hold your paper, instead of holding it vertically, turn it this way and then you can glue your turkey right on your paper. All right, and here's my finished one that I included there for you. When you bring it back to school, we can share it with our friends um, and you can share you can share with them what you're thankful for. And as we approach Thanksgiving, we can share all the different things that we are thankful for as a class. So I hope you have fun today during writing and I will talk to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.